Nice flip. Video. I'm Megan. I'm so excited because I'm coming back with something huge. This is a big moment. If you know anything about me, I'm a huge SB19 fan, of course. This isn't K-pop, it's P-pop. It's hard to do these videos alone. I feel empty. Half of me is missing, which is my sister, Brienne. <laughs> this is 2017 Thila Luha Estelle, a guy I don't know and I don't want to butcher his name, JP from PHP and Sejun. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. This, okay, I have seen JP and Sejun sing together. Estelle too, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen that video and it was on Twitter and I just freaked out because I saw, I saw them together and oh my god, it was amazing. <laughs> this is a big deal for a lot of reasons. I'm about to see 2017 version of Stel, Sejun, and JP, and then I'm gonna meet this guy. Well, meet. I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna get to know this other guy that was a part of Show BT. I don't know if they were SB19 at this time. I'm really excited for this. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm also trying to vocal analyze it. So I'm gonna try not to fangirl too much, but excuse me if I fangirl a little more than, um, you care for. That's what I do on this channel. So, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Checking the quality. Zooming in. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have to have a, I have to have a fangirl moment right now. I'm sorry. JP is singing Thila Luha and I. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to hear it again. I hope you don't mind. Look at that entrance too. Like watch him walk in. He just looks so, so majestic, magnificent JP. And then there's like cheering too. I'd be screaming. <laughs> He sounds, he sounds beautiful. Oh, this is new guy. Well, new to me. Yes, you just walked in. Okay, before I freak out a lot, cause my bias is here. He's here. Okay, before Stell just completely wrecks me. Let's go back. So this guy, I think it's Rafa, maybe? Rafa sounds a little pitchy in the beginning, but then corrects it, and he has really, really nice vibrato from what I heard. Let me hear it again. nervous or he came in not really taking as much breath as he should have but he corrected in the beginning it sounded quite pitchy but then towards the end it started sounding better there was one more pitchy moment beyond the beginning but something that I did notice like a great great thing that he has is really good vibrato I'm kind of iffy on what happened there at the beginning of course as a vocal coach I listen to a ton of different voices and my students perform 
perform and stuff, most of them do. And so I'm very familiar with the sound of nervousness, nervous singing. I do have like techniques to help like my students with that, but I can't tell if that's what's happening here. It would probably take a little more knowledge on this guy. It started out a little rough and then corrected throughout and very nice vibrato. I like his vibrato a lot. I'm hoping he'll sing more. I do want to hear more of his singing. Time to be wrecked and take it back. Just a tad. Oh my god. Right there, pitchy. Oh, but nice ending. Oh my cute I love you. Um, guys, I mean, what can I say about Stell? Stell has an amazing voice. And of course, I think I said this, whenever I did a vocal analysis of their cover of Baki Bai Go, he did have some moments. I didn't mention, Stell has some pitchy moments, but they're very, very slight. And yes, if I did like ever get a chance to vocal coach Stell, there would maybe be a few things I would work on, but I am a firm believer of do not fix what is not broken? I want to hear it one more time. He had something different there with like the melody. Ah! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I guess I should have. I should have known that Sajun was coming in next, but guys, I've been so bias wrecked by Sajun lately. I think I have seasons. Of course, like Stell's always my bias, but I just have moments where I'm like, I really, really love Sajun. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> excuse me, fangirl. Okay, I'm gonna take it back a sec. Cause he just caught me off guard, which I, I don't know how this happened, but it happened. Kind of different. I think that the reason I looked over at Stell was because I figured I did not hear that high harmony that he usually does in the chorus. Rafa was singing like a lower harmony. I would have to listen. I off the top of my head can't say if I have heard that harmony before but I really am leaning more towards no. If it's there it's subtle because I can't think of it off the top of my head but it also could be that I'm usually distracted by the that higher harmony. I love that harmony. And I, I'm kind of sad that it's not in here, but I do like hearing that lower one. And I'm gonna, now I'm very curious and I'm gonna have to go back and listen to Thila Luha and see if I do hear that lower one. Interesting, it's beautiful so far. Is that June? Beautiful as ever. Okay, here we go. Moving on. <laughs> Missing harmony. Where'd this guy come from? Okay, I want to lean towards that was nervousness when he came out because he sounds much more solid and confident. I'm leaning more towards nervousness. I'm gonna go back. I need to hear this guy again. Rafa just came out with some vocals, guys. Did y'all hear that? It was great. Oh, 
Oh my god! And the sorry JP, the dynamics. And he has such an amazing vibrato. Oh my. This guy. Where's he at now? Somebody point me to his direction. Cause I wanna see what he's doing now. I hope he's still using that voice. That's amazing. Wow. Okay, JP's turn. He did change up. It's changed too, it's different. Dynamics with JP too? Oh. It did look like that took a lot of breath out of him, but he kept it solid, and I praise him for it. That was great. The dynamics, guys. I mean, I know that like SB19, they usually use their dynamics too, but for some reason in this performance, it seems much more there. It seems much more emotional. Wow, I'm loving these dynamics. It's beautiful. Dynamic singing is such a big deal, especially with a song like this. Like dynamics are so important for ballads, and I'm loving how much it's here in this video. So beautiful. <laughs> Oh, the harmonies are there now. It's there! Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. this either <sighs> I gotta listen to that again oh my god oh my god I'm such a sucker for harmonies Here we go. an added one there. It sounded like it could be, but I don't know, that also kind of felt familiar. I harmonize a lot whenever I'm like listening to a song, and sometimes I will sing the harmony parts that are there, but sometimes I will add one just for the fun of it, and it's possible I've done this with Tila Luha, and that's why it sounds familiar, but I don't know, I'm leaning more towards that's in the recorded version. I don't know. Some of these melody parts are different. I like it. It's really cool to hear. That's added. I think that's added. Oh, said so June, that was beautiful. Nice flip. to react to it, isn't it? This is it, this is why. I mean, I knew, I knew. <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying so hard not to fangirl and I'm failing so bad. <sighs> okay, I, I know, 
I know Estelle can go that high in head voice and chest. Like, I know, I know Estelle goes that high. So, okay, in case you're maybe not like a musical kind of person, you don't really know musical terms and analogies and all this stuff, you might hear a difference. You might not know what you just heard, but you might know that it sounds different than what it usually sounds like. And I can explain that a little bit. I'll try to keep it brief. So Stell usually sings that part in what's called falsetto. And when you sing and when you speak, you use two things, which are air and muscle. And you can use more of one than the other. Now, you don't want to use more muscle than air because that's straining. Here, Stell typically sings in falsetto and that's when you use more air than muscle. So that's why it sounds a little more airy. And you could compare if you need to, the difference between the two. So typically whenever in the recording, Stell sings this high note, <clears throat> you hear ah! You can hear the push of air. But here, there's an ah. He stays on an ah sound. And so instead of doing ah, It's What he did here is he balanced the two. Instead of using falsetto and using more air than muscle, he used an even amount of air and muscle in head voice. It's beautiful, it's there, it's just <laughs> fangirl. And it sounds gorgeous, he was in tune. Oh my god, oh my god. If I heard this in person, I would just have to hide my face because I would have the biggest smile on my face. I can't imagine what I looked like just a while ago. <laughs> And I don't want to know. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to edit this and see my face. <sighs> okay, let's go back. <laughs> Fangirling. <laughs> He almost, I wouldn't say he almost lost control, but he was kind of like on a needle point there. And he did a really good job of flipping into his head voice right after and getting it more solid and balanced. The balance was there, so I was in tune. God, I'm not used to having to explain the things in my head. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get used to this eventually. At the moment, not quite. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. It almost sounds a little shaky in the beginning, and then he grabbed that control when he went into head voice, and it sounded so good, so good. I'm betting he was on a bridge. I wouldn't know completely unless I was sitting with him and figuring out where his bridges are. A bridge is where your resonance shifts. So like going from chest voice to head voice, you have that middle area and that's a very hard place to sing because it's not quite chest voice, it's not quite head voice. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Wait, one more time. <laughs> Oh, that person was so polite for ducking it out. Oh, he is so emotional. And he drops it slowly. Sona <laughs> all. Be there watching them in 2017. Plain Cloud. <laughs> I get your name. <laughs> Thank you for the video. Also, I like your name. And Tana All. Thank you so much for uploading this. This is amazing. Guys, I just got to see Stell and JP and Sejun perform together. And uh, I love that. It makes me emotional. This video deserves more views. Go watch this video. Enjoy it with your own eyes, not just me fangirling at the same time and vocal coaching at the same time in this weird hybrid sense of 
weird. <laughs> Rafa has an amazing voice. Once again, I really hope this guy is doing something with his voice. Please point me in his direction. If he has like Twitter or something, all around this was amazing. The dynamics were definitely my favorite in this entire thing. I loved it so much. Thank y'all so much for suggesting this video. I'm so glad I did see this finally. Y'all have been suggesting this for the longest time, especially whenever y'all found out that I was a vocal coach. I'm so sorry it took so long to get to, but here it finally is. I hope it's everything you wanted it to be and then some. I will definitely be doing more of these videos. I will do a mixture of stuff. So my first video was an unboxing of me talking about a K-drama. I do want to react to stuff. I do want to see stuff that I can talk about with my expertise, my line of work. Let me know what you're wanting to see down below. I am going to do more of these videos. Make sure you are watching out for them. Click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you know what's out when it's out. Be honest. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below. Click the notification bell because we do post often. And we will see you next time here in K-Pop. Bye!